consensus was the deal, it wasn't the, it didn't fulfil the aspirations of what the members wanted, but it went some way to getting them on the right foot to getting where they want to be. But unfortunately, instead of just coming to the table and saying, this is a deal, would you like to accept it or not? It came with sanctions. We can actually, you know, agree with the pay deal in its entirety because we can accept the uh, sanction attached to it. The company is blacklisting us for taking legal industrial action. So the sanctions is not only about our staff travel, uh, it's about the uh, company bonus taken away from us, the uh, pay incentive scheme we're not going to get. British Airways management didn't even, didn't even and turn up for the meeting at um, ACAS. So that's why we had to go back on strike now. British Airways are claiming that they're paying crew about £23,000, which we know is a complete fallacy. I've seen people's P60s and most of them are coming up like £15,000, £16,000 at best. But the figure that British Airways manipulate and say that these crew are getting, it does include that bonus which has now been taken away from these crew. And as you know, crew work variable hours, so we, we need to figure out whether actually they're not uh, getting paid less than minimum wage now. We've had lots of crew on probation joining the union and going on strike the next day. We've got members who've just finished their training course and they are going they are going on strike the next day. We've got new CSMs joining us in our fight. So the sanctions and the intimidation really is not working. The crew are here monitoring the various apps that tell you where aircraft are going um, around out of Heathrow. And we know now for the first time, this didn't happen last time, they are flying empty aircraft out of Heathrow and back into Heathrow. You can imagine how much fuel it costs to take an aircraft off and fly it round. That it will be in the millions, which they could easily give the crew a decent pay rise and end this dispute. But they're just not willing to. They'd rather break the union, and they're not going to break the union. When you factor in the fact that they're using Qatar aircraft, they're weight leasing them, they're using Charter Airline, um, High Fly that are from Portugal, it is having a huge effect. 6B won't get me far! I'm not working for Qatar! 6B won't get me far! I'm not working for Qatar! No pay! No way! No pay! No way! Just wondering if anyone in guitar fans is coming out and speaking to us. No, no, no. Can't hear ya. <laughs> no, where are ya? Hey, you don't mind getting involved in our dispute. The least you can do is talk to us. But should we talk about guitar? That you've got Human Rights Watch. You've got Amnesty talking about beatings of workers. And we all know from the World Cup, we all know the deaths where women can expect 50% less wages than men. We've got evidence of female crew pregnant and automatically sacked the CAA or as I like to call them corrupt aviation authority with no safety concerns taken on board they gave us till today to raise our safety issues yet BA are flying on the 1st of July Qatar planes now how have they done a proper due investigation to know whether this is safe the CAA have colluded with the company to get involved in our dispute. one of the biggest union events in the country, if not in the world. So we wanted to come up here to celebrate that, but also to raise further awareness for the campaign that we have going on at the moment. We are currently on industrial action again. We're midway through 16 days of industrial action. A lot of people are disillusioned by what British Airways promised them. They said that if they went into work, they would be getting their full bonuses, but then their bonuses were only minimal amounts. So we've got a lot more people coming out, a lot more cabin managers are joining us.